NFL rules you didn't know exist. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Kick Dude. Today we're diving into the unknown depths of NFL rules. From helmet to helmet hits to touchdown celebrations, we've seen it all. But what if I told you there's a rule so strange, so absurd, that it defies all logic and reason? That's right, we're talking about the weirdest rule in NFL history. Are you ready to uncover the truth? Let's hit the field and discover the bizarre world of NFL regulations. You think you know everything about the NFL, but hold on tight because you're about to discover a whole new world of rules that you never even knew existed. From rules that seem to defy the laws of physics to others that make you question the sanity of the rule makers, the NFL has it all. Rule number one, palpably unfair act. Do you know what a palpably unfair act is? This rule states that if a team commits a palpably unfair act, the opposing team can refuse to play the rest of the game and the NFL will refund the ticket price to fans. But what exactly is a palpably unfair act? Well, it's up to the referees to decide. Rule number two, fair catch kick. Have you ever heard of a fair catch kick? If a punt is caught by the receiving team inside their own 20-yard line and they signal for a fair catch, they can opt to attempt a field goal from where the ball was caught instead of receiving the ball at the spot of the fair catch. This rule is extremely rare and has only been successfully used once in NFL history. Rule number three, the tuck rule. This rule, which was eventually changed, stated that if a quarterback brings the ball towards his body and then loses it, it would be considered an incomplete pass instead of a fumble. This rule caused controversy in 2002, when the New England Patriots' Tom Brady lost the ball, but the call was overturned and ruled as an incomplete pass. This rule has caused controversy and sparked debates among fans, but it's definitely one of the craziest rules in the NFL. Rule number four, ineligible receiver downfield. In the NFL, Offensive players who aren't eligible receivers can't be more than a yard downfield before the ball is thrown. If this rule is broken, it's called an ineligible receiver downfield penalty. This may seem simple, but it's one of the most important rules in the NFL as it ensures that all offensive players are playing within the rules. Talk about a crazy rule! This rule definitely keeps players on their toes and adds a level of excitement to the game. Rule number 5. Forward progress. This rule states that if a runner is tackled and his momentum carries him forward, the play is over, and the ball is placed where he was last touched, even if he hasn't been touched by a defender. This rule is important, as it helps prevent injuries by ending the play as soon as the runner's forward progress has been stopped. Rule number six, the in-grasp rule. The in-grasp rule states that if a quarterback is deemed to be in the grasp of a defender, the play is automatically dead. But what does in the grasp actually mean? It means that a defender has control of the quarterback and is bringing him to the ground. Rule number seven, the chop block rule. The chop block rule prohibits a player from blocking a defender below the waist if the defender is already being engaged by another offensive player. This rule is in place to prevent serious injury to the defender. Rule number eight, the unnecessary roughness. The unnecessary roughness rule states that any player who engages in rough play that goes beyond what is necessary to stop a player or disrupt a play can be penalized for unnecessary roughness. This rule is in place to protect the players from dangerous hits and tackles. Rule number nine, the horse collar tackle. This rule, which was added in 2005, prohibits a defender from grabbing the inside collar of an opponent's shoulder pads or jersey and pulling them down from behind. This type of tackle was considered dangerous and resulted in many injuries, leading to the implementation of this rule. Number 10, the illegal formation. If a team lines up with only six players on the line of scrimmage, it is considered an illegal formation and results in a penalty. This may seem like a simple rule, but it has caught many teams off guard and has caused many penalties throughout NFL history. History. Number 11, the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. This rule covers a wide range of behaviors, including trash talking, excessive celebration, and unsportsmanlike conduct. The penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct can range from 15 yards to ejection from the game, making it one of the most important rules in the NFL. Some players have been known to push the limits of this rule, making for some wild and crazy moments on the field. Number 12, helmet to helmet rule. This rule states that players cannot use their helmet as a weapon to make contact with an opponent. This can result in a 15-yard penalty and even an ejection from the game. Can you imagine playing a full contact sport without being able to use your head as a weapon? It's a good thing that this rule is in place, but it definitely makes for some crazy moments on the field. Number 13, touchback on a touchdown. You might have heard of this one before, but it's worth mentioning again. 
If a player scores a touchdown and then runs out of the end zone, he can run back in and get another touchdown. This is crazy, but it's a rule that has actually been used in a game before. Can you imagine scoring two touchdowns in one play? That's a touchdown double. Number 14, Dead Ball Foul. This rule states that if a player commits a foul after the play has ended, he can still be penalized. This rule has caught many players off guard, and it's a great reminder that the game never stops in the NFL. So there you have it, folks. The top 13 craziest rules in the NFL that left us scratching our heads in disbelief. From the infamous tuck rule to the recent helmet rule. These regulations are just a glimpse into the unique and sometimes quirky world of American football. As fans of the sport, it's important to stay informed on the latest rules and regulations and keep up with the ever-changing landscape of the game. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Let us know in the comments which one of these rules you found the most surprising or ridiculous. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep on cheering for your favorite team.